This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, Heather Ho, there's Jeff Cutter Diamond welcoming you to another sports catastrophe on this day. And on this day, June the 12th, in the year 2021. I know it's rare I'm doing something this recent, but this was huge. Denmark took on Finland in the 2020 Euro. Euro 2020. Technically, it wasn't 2020. It was 2021 because of the whole COVID stuff. Denmark's Christian Eriksen was on the on the pitch, and unfortunately, he somehow collapsed on the pitch, suffering a cardiac arrest. Obviously, I'm not going to post anything too controversial with the pitcher, but anyway, that's Christian Eriksen. Erickson played for Ajax from 2010 to 2013. 2013 to 2020, he played for Tottenham, being one of the best Hotspurs players. He was in Inter Milan 2020 and 2021. And then just this past year, he played 11 games for Brantford in the Premier League. Not Brantford as in Brantford, Ontario. Brantford with an E, not an A. So anyway, the international career had happened. Euro 2020 was underway in 2021. This was a little bit awkward because when it came to host countries and all that, they decided in 2021, they decided to have it for the 60th anniversary of Euro, they would have different countries hosting it, not one single country. But anyhow, so they decided to do many countries and all that. But of course, as everyone knows, COVID fucked everything up. So anyway, 24 teams trying to get through to the 16 team knockout stages and all that. So anyway, in Group B, matches started on, December, on June 12th. 2021. First game at Copenhagen at Parken Stadium. It was Denmark in the Lidlifter Group B against Finland, with Belgium Russia coming up later on. Of course, this was before Russia became a little bit overprotective of trying to destroy Ukraine. Anyway, so yeah, Belgium beat Russia later in the day, but earlier in the day, Finland took on Denmark. And it was a decent squad and all that. Unfortunately, in the 42nd minute, Eriksson was about to get a throw in, but for some strange reason, he collapsed. Urgent medical assistance was immediate. They put cardiopulmonary resuscitation and defibrillation performed for the field. Eriksson was taken off the pitch. The match was suspended. After an hour, officials were confirmed that from the hospital, Ericsson had been stabilized and was awake, so they kept playing. The funny thing was that Finland, for some strange reason, in their first major tournament, shocked everyone by scoring a one nothing goal. So Finland beat Denmark one nothing. People were pissed off because the match had restarted. I think more so for the fact that Finland won the match. I wonder if Danish fans would have been upset if they had won. And they should have had that. However, Denmark said they expressed regret and all that. There were rumors that UEFA threatened Denmark with a 3 0 automatic loss if they refused to finish the match later on that day or the following day at noon. Ericsson had suffered a cardiac arrest and all that. But it was fine under the circumstances. So basically, he was he would be he fitted with an implantable cardioverter defibrillator device. So he was discharged on June 18th. He returned to international football in 2022 against the Dutch. But yeah, people were pissed off. Denmark would then fall to Belgium 2-1, and it looked like Denmark was going to be. Basically done. 
they would face Russia and for some strange reason, Russia, even though they got to the quarterfinals of the 2018 World Cup, were not the same team. And Denmark crushed them 4-1. Obviously, they would they would play for their fallen teammate Ericsson. But, you know, they faltered against Belgium. Like, they had a one nothing lead for a while in Copenhagen. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, in Copenhagen, they beat Russia 4-1. Belgium beat Finland 2-0. Well, Belgium is Belgium. One of the best teams in the world. So, Belgium won the group. However, Denmark snuck into second place in the group and automatically got to the knockout stage based on the fact that Denmark, Finland, and Russia all had three points against each other. But goal differential based on head-to-head -head and kind of the fact of the matter of, in general, Denmark had the better head-to-head -head goal differential, so they got it. Finland, unfortunately, was knocked out. You got to feel for Finland. They, they were close. Ukraine stuck in as one of the last third place teams. Denmark would then move on to Amsterdam to play Wales in the round of 16. Wales had Gareth Bale and a few other players. But Denmark, playing for their fallen teammate, crushed the tar out of Wales 4 zip. That was the first game of the round of 16, though, too. With Dolberg swimming twice, Brathwaite and Miley. Denmark would then get to the quarterfinals in Baku, Azerbaijan, against the Czech Republic. And people were thinking, well, maybe Denmark's run Denmark might beat the Czechs. The Czechs are a little uninspired. Well, Denmark got off to a quick 2-0 lead, gave up a goal, but they still won. Kasper Schmeichel is a legend in Dan Danish net, like his father Peter. Denmark would then face England in Wembley in the semifinals. And Denmark scored first on a dumb scarred goal. But England got their own back of own goal and a controversial call, a lot of people say, because of Harry Kane diving in the box in extra time. England missed the penalty, but Kane put in his rebound and England got to the final. Denmark, I think, probably would have taken down Spain in a third place match if they didn't. But give Denmark all the credit. I mean, they were inspired by their teammate, and they got all the way to the semifinals. And Ericsson's fine, and he's still playing football, so... I mean, the guy knew what he did, knew what to do. So, yeah, the work it was pretty good, though, too. Can't blame them for faltering like that. Ain't got no time for that. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.